goodness sakes. Bright sunny day. I know. Good morning. Morning. Cheers. cheers. Love, Love you. you. Good morning, everybody. Love you. Good morning. Cheers. Happy Saturday. Morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think Excuse it was that me. choky uppy. <coughs> Goodness I sakes. Need another so, I was going to start the show off today with a construction joke for y'all, but I'm still working on it. Under construction, is it? However, and we're not Apple people, we have Androids, but there's an Apple store here in Reno. Did you hear about this yesterday? I was reading about it this morning. No. They had a break in at the Apple store. The police are looking for eyewitnesses. iPhone eyewitnesses. Oh. <laughs> like I said, we're not Apple people. <laughs> um, gotta fix something here. Oh my goodness. What are you fixing? Well, the little thing is on here. Uh oh. Hello. I always hate it when there's a little thing. <laughs> I do not know what's going on. Is it on. even recording? Yeah, it says it is. <laughs> it won't go back. That won't clear off of here. Well, I guess you're going to have to stop it and then restart it. And we'll pick up from right here. Oh, guess what? There, we're still recording. I just had to hit the little X up in the corner. Oh my gosh. I was afraid that it was going to turn something off. Not only are we not Apple people. Oh God, we're apparently not Canon people either. And then I still left it facing the other way. <laughs> okay. Once again. I should have put a couple extra shots in once this, again, this morning. Y'all get what you pay for. <clears throat> this, yeah. This is it. <laughs> yeah. RV life in real time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a lovely morning. I do not see any big white puffy storm clouds developing. Nope, we haven't developing. for a couple days. No, thank goodness. Oh Whew. my gosh. It was fun, except when it wasn't. <laughs> when it was... Well, you can say that about a lot of stuff. Great. Know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, happy Saturday, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about it and go yeah what the heck doesn't cost me anything click the bell to remind you when we get any notifications uh, give us a thumbs up comment and share with your friends that you want to torment um, last Saturday we had our chat with you and then we got to go to lunch with um, RJ with yep. our son RJ yep and so that was nice go spend a few hours with him mm -hmm. um, and uh, get to get updated we I don't know every couple of weeks even though he lives nearby he's a busy guy he's got lots of things going on and again that's part of us living full-time in an RV being able to come back to Reno to see family and it's nice to do that you know of course it gets cold in the winter we head south just like the bunnies well a lot of the bunnies stay here yeah they do like the birds <laughs> the birds exactly <laughs> we're snow birds, birds. that don't <laughs> stay in the snow but get away from the snow it's nice to be able to do that and spend time with family yes it is yes it is um on monday i just did some crap wait wait, wait. sunday i'm missing sunday monday uh, let's see we watched some baseball in the morning on the sunday it was a morning game yeah wasn't much of a game it was stormy all day <laughs> and i worked on some card stuff and you did some video stuff yeah um We've had some crazy thunderstorms for here. Uh, a lot of rolling thunder, a lot of lightning, but tons of rain. And it's that's like just being not, in the Midwest. Yeah. To me, it's just normal thunderstorms. But She's for like, here, it's not the, normal. Listen like that. to that thunder. I'm like, yeah, it's thunder. Yeah, we. Uh, oh, we had one strike that was very close. I mean, it was almost right away that the thunder and cracked and it was so loud the poor animals kaylee was laying down by my feet bear was laying over by you yeah and uh actually there was a couple times she was in her her kennel which is her room she loves that and uh tom tried to call her over to him and she was like backed up into her <laughs> kennel she was like no i'm good here <laughs> it's my safe place but um 
just that the rain has been really heavy. Everything's beautifully green, however. For a change. Yeah, and we still, I mean, it's the middle of June and... We don't know how long it's going to stay green before it browns up like that. Yeah, <clears throat> yep. and then we'll be then, on fire watch then a we'll, lot. Then we'll see what the fires are like. Yeah, but everything is just so beautifully green. Mm -hmm. Everything's loving it. But you were saying that it's supposed to get down into the... 30s. This next week. <laughs> this is this is so goofy with this weather. I'm loving it. Uh, tonight, tomorrow night, not too bad. Next week, not too bad. A little cooler for this time of the year, especially in northern Nevada. Highs in the 50s and low 60s. Oh. Lows are going to be 30 to 35 Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Oh. It's like holy moly. And again, you got to remember, Reno is so much different than Las Vegas. People think, oh yeah, you live in Nevada. It's a, blah, blah, blah. No, we're up high. We're next to Lake Tahoe. Tahoe's at six, 7,000 feet lake level. Reno sits at about 4,500. But where we are in the North Valleys, we're up above 5,500 feet. You know, yeah. just a hair right there. But it's just, holy cow, it gets chilly at night up here. It gets wonderfully comfortable. Oh, don't know how many times I have to say that to him. Need those He's extra. Like, it's winter. I said, no, it isn't. It's spring. Extra blanket. Another week. What's still spring? <laughs> yeah, you can have the extra blanket on your side. There we go. <laughs> um, Tuesday, we started packing up for reset day. And for those that don't know, our reset day is the day that we pack everything up and we head over the hill to go dump our tanks and then we come back. Because where we're staying for the summer, we're mooch docking, but we don't have full hookups. Right. So we're kind of boondocking, mooch docking, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, but we do have to go yep. every two and a half to three weeks and dump tanks. Yep. And it's not far. Yeah. So, you know, it takes us a couple... But we did that on Tuesday. No. No, we were going to. We were going to. And it's <laughs> raining and stuff and we're looking outside and all around us is is soft, soft mud. And we're thinking, well, that's not gonna be fun. I don't wanna try to hitch up, pull out through the mud, and then come back and back in uphill. Yeah, we're going up A little hill. incline in the mud, so we just sat tight for another couple days. Yeah, we decided, mm, no, forget it. So we had started packing up, but yeah. um, we were just watching the storms because that day it was really stormy during the day usually it had been in the afternoons yeah. and um, you'd have a really nice morning and then just around what two ish yeah. two o'clock or something two to, two to is three it breaks loose the, uh, every day <clears throat> when the storms would come but that day it was like all day yeah and so we just kind of we just rescheduled <clears throat> um Wednesday was supposed to be our reset day, and mm -hmm. we didn't, so we just kind of sat tight because uh, that it was starting to dry up. It was there weren't yeah. any wasn't any rain on Wednesday, yeah. So we just so we were able to kind of sit back, finish packing up some stuff. Maybe um, I don't think we packed up very much. We just kind of sat around. It was sat like around. a free day because we had already planned reset day <clears throat> and then changed our minds. Yeah. So. Um, and then, that was Wednesday, and then yeah, Thursday. Thursday. We had a blast on Thursday. So this is another wonderful part about our RV. Our RV life yep. is the friends that we've made and how we meet up in just different places. Yeah. So we got to go have lunch with Bob and Pearl and Tinker. Next exit. Yay. They were just passing through. <laughs> Notice Getting what I guys. did there. <laughs> um, they were staying up at Tahoe. And Bob's brother actually lives in Reno. And they've come and stayed in Reno many times, but um, they're kind of skipping staying down here this month, this trip. Uh, they're going to be heading to Oregon and Washington. But uh, so they came down, had lunch with us, yeah. and then they went to go visit Bob's brother, Steve yeah. and Diane. And so um, we had a wonderful visit, and the doggies got to visit. We brought yep. Bear. We went to an awesome barbecue place little place in Midtown Reno called Brothers Barbecue and it was really good and we got to sit outside with our pups so that was it was good, it was yeah. good. visit with them it was awesome to see them um, when we're 
in down in the Yuma area in the winter, we get spoiled because we get to see them frequently. <laughs> yes. And um, <laughs> so not getting to see them for a couple months was, you know, it's like, hey, we yeah. miss you guys. So we had a lot of fun mm -hmm. visiting with them. And then uh, we came home and finished packing up for reset day because yesterday was reset day. Yeah, and we did go do it. We did that. And so when we came back, we were able to kind of reset up our outside our mat we had to hose it all off and everything um, was covered with not just silt but real mud just mud mushy mushy yucky yep so i'm we, glad we had our mat out because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to come out the trailer yeah. so but you'd step on the mat and it would just squish down, squishy down into it. so it needed some good washing and our other mats and got to set the barbecue back up again and actually mm -hmm. grill some meat um yeah my little sunflowers and that kind of stuff but it was like for what a couple of weeks we couldn't really do anything outside no. except in the morning every day but it was, everything was still muddy it, it didn't have a chance to crazy dry. all winter all we did was complain about the wind and now <laughs> we're mud. complaining about the rain, the rain. now I'm, it's drying out so we're going to be complaining about the heat after this cold snap next week yeah he'll be complaining about the cold <laughs> i'll be complaining about the heat um <laughs> Actually, Tom and Lori's RV life complaints. No. <laughs> and I don't like that every time we watch somebody else and they complain constantly about the rain or the, you know, whatever. I don't like that. So I don't like doing that. I'm gonna but sometimes it is whatever. the subject of conversation. <laughs> Right? Isn't that always the subject of conversation when, when you don't know what to talk about with people? Sometimes it's like, well, how about the weather? Hasn't it been nice? What about that lightning the other night? I just look at them and go, what's that thing on your tooth? No, you don't tell people if well, they've got true. something on their tooth. Whatever. Or hanging from their nose. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's friend Whatever. Tanner can attribute to that. Whatever. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. <laughs> yeah. So we're hoping that the big rain is done. A little summer afternoon shower might be nice, but uh, just not that heavy, heavy rain that we've had. And uh, so we get to just kind of relax this next week. We don't I think have so. To deal. You know, that's another thing too, is with the, the rain and stuff, we have a dog. So anybody that has dogs and they RV knows that you gotta go take them out to go take care of their business so you come back they're sopping wet they're muddy feet so we had towels like all over the floor <laughs> all over the rig <laughs> all over the, the house for her to be able to walk on and to lay on and to <laughs> clean her feet with and so it's like been dang fun. bear you smell like an old wet dog Aww, it's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Tom was out with her, so he came in smelling like a wet dog, too. <laughs> Again, you get what you pay for. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So we actually got to clean those up and, you know, see our floor for a change without a bunch of muddy towels. But um, that's just kind of been it. So That's yeah. it. You're all caught up. We're all caught up. So happy, happy Father's Day to all you fathers out happy there. Happy Father's Day. What are your plans? For Father's Day. Do you have plans? Are you going to go get to see your kids? Are you going to get to see your dads? Um, both of us, our dads, are not with us anymore. Um, Tom's a dad, so we are going over to our daughter Jolene's mm -hmm. for um, Father's Day, and we're going to breakfast actually in the morning with um, my brother's family. I don't even know if my brother's going to be there, but we're going with our niece and her new fiance and uh, whoever else comes we're going to stop by and pick up mom on the way there and then we come home and then we get ready to go out to our daughters Jolene's so house. busy day tomorrow fun day don't use the word busy a busy fun day no it's busy just a fun doesn't day. have to mean that it's, it's just, bad it's just busy means work i don't like that word oh okay so we have a fun filled day for there tomorrow. it is <laughs> it's a fun filled day right there you go okay it's getting hot you are sweating i can see it so it's a warm morning thank you mr sunshine we appreciate you we appreciate you guys thank you for watching see, see ya, ya.
Yeah, I'm a little toasty. Should have had my fan out here. Ooh, I'm here. 